Hey everybody, I'm Jay and this is part 11 in my video guide to running the Grimoire campaign setting for Spheres of Power by Drop Dead Studios. This series is inspired by the Spheres of Power world building semi-contest. So right now we're going to do part 11, which is the Dendrite class. Dendrites are a variant on the Druid class. All living things were created to create again, and by participating in this circle of life, the Dendrites participate in nature's inherent magic. Like the seed, the dendrite is meant to grow, achieve the height of her magical potential, and then pass her strength on to the next generation so that the cycle may continue. A dendrite sees all things, including herself, as Zoe, and harnesses the land, the animals, and the plants to perform her magic. This, she believes, gives the lives of her fellow Zoe purpose as she increases in wisdom and power. Dendrites refer to themselves collectively as the circle or the circle of life. While not strictly in order in the same sense as a group of exemplars, it shares a similar structure. Instead of being led by one dominant leader, however, each dendrite looks to their elders, whether physical or mental, for guidance. One is either born a dendrite or will never become one as long as they live. To be one who knows the oaks is a birthright of the stranger's true descendants. For this reason, the majority of dendrites are human, although the circle will not turn away any members who happen to be of another race. They do actively contend against those that claim the members of the circle are not the literal descendants of strangers, however. Those who practice druery are not, but are not descendants of the strangers are called rangers. Only being inducted into the circle and participating in the rites of fertility can a ranger become eligible for rebirth within the bloodline. Therefore, if you ask a ranger whether all her years living in the circle will ever result in becoming a dendrite, the answer must be literally not in this life. Those who are known to be of the dendritic bloodline begin their education within the circle at a very young age. The initiate is taught of a cyclical path all dendrites must walk. She learns respect for nature and the rights of the world soul. She's encouraged to explore the world and search for some soul, location, or object that might spark the fire of her strange memory. At some time during her wanderings, the initiate recognizes a soul with whom she shares a bond like no other, her animal companion who she has known throughout all of her lives. Her mind begins to open itself to knowledge she once had and souls she once were once acquainted with and experienced from her former lives. This event, called the awakening, marks the beginning of her true life as a dendrite. A dendrite's awakening continues throughout her life. Indeed, she does not truly learn new skills or develop new talents. She simply remembers the ones she has already learned and picks up where she left off. Some dendrites literally dedicate their lives to meditating on their past incarnations, only to come out of the trance decades later. When they do so, they bear centuries of experience, and no matter their apparent age, are thereafter known as elders, for they have truly become old souls. Spheres for dendrites. Uh, dendrites have access to the powers of the physical world favoring the dark, enhancement, light, nature, and weather spheres. Their meditations on the circle of life make the death, divination, and life spirit spheres logical choices as well. Adapting dendrites to grimoire. The dendrite class is most like the hedgewitch class from Spheres of Power, using constitution instead of the provided options for the casting ability modifier. This is the result of having the draining casting drawback and the fortified casting boon. This represents a dendrite's magic being derived from their strange bloodline. The verbal casting drawback is also encouraged as dendrites must speak the language of the strangers, druidic, in order to command nature. The green magic and herbology hedwitch, hedge witch, man, that's hard to say. Traditions are traditional choices for a dendrite. All right, that wraps up part 11. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in part 12.